So, we're going to play the Attack on Titan game, which is widely considered to be the best Spider-Man game ever made. And it definitely is. If Spider-Man games involved killing giant naked people, it's 10 out of 10 on that. So we got to start a new game. Let's just do that real quick. Make my new save file here. And now I just need to adjust an option. Specifically the camera. The camera in this game is a little is a little slow for my taste, so I'm going to just max that out. Everything else looks fine. Yep, yeah, okay. So this game is in Japanese, in case you weren't aware of that. So I feel like reading text, because you're going to have to do quite a bit of that. Unless you actually speak Japanese. その日人類は思い出した奴らに支配されていた恐怖を鳥籠の中に囚われていた屈辱を巨人だ。壁に穴を開けられた。あれから2年志願しなく出た3人は第104期の訓練兵となり教官に鍛えられる毎日を送っていたどうした第104期訓練兵団ここには役立たずしかいないのか立体起動装置を扱えないやつはおとりにも使えん他の連中も聞いておけ
So if you're going to kill Titans, you got to learn how to Titan kill. And that involves learning how to use the spiffy gear we got, the ODM. So there's two ways to fly around in the ODM. You can tap square to shoot individual anchors, or you can just hold it down to continuously move. In my opinion, tapping is a little better. It's a little more maneuverable. Also, if you're on the ground like that, you'll do a shot straight up instead of going forward. Because you got to get some air first, you know? Also, there's no fall damage, so don't worry about that. It's not a factor in this game. And when you can't use your ODM, that little symbol will appear above your head. There it is. You obviously need buildings or trees or something tall to shoot the anchors into. So big clearings like this are kind of an issue. Anyways, this is, this is a cute little practice titan. Look at him smiling, look at that. So killing titans is actually pretty easy to do in this game. You enter combat mode, fire an anchor, and then you just, you just stab the titan in the back of the neck. That's what you gotta do. And the in-game explanation is, it's a couple pages, but it's actually really easy to take a titan down in this game. Well, theoretically. First, you hit R1 to enter combat mode. You got this little orange crosshair here, letting you know which titan you're gonna lock onto. You shoot your anchor into the titan. Hold on, let him finish talking. You can move around, but when you stop moving, you'll reel in. Burst of air, attack, and it's done. There you go. Attacking too soon, and you won't hit the titan. Attack too late, and you won't do a good enough cut. You gotta attack after that burst of air. It's all about the timing. Well, that was a perfect takedown. It was one hit. That's what you want to do. You don't want to whiff your shots. So you can fire anchors into multiple body parts. The neck is for the kill, but other parts will have good reasons to take them out too. See, that was... Uh, that actually wasn't a bad cut, but I was supposed to boost into what you see. Boosting is really helpful because sometimes you just don't have the distance to reel in and get enough speed to do a good attack. That motion blur looks great. So your blades and your gas. Your gas will run out when you move around, when you zip into titans and stuff. And your blades run out when you stab them. Also, there's a gesture button. It's options. And uh, the game doesn't really mention that just yet, but that's pretty good. So we can refill with these logisticians. Logisticians. That's how you say that, I think. Don't actually need to do refills right now, but, you know, it's the tutorial. Gotta do it, make sure you know how. So we've only got blades and gas. There will be other items to use, but not just yet. Hey. Alright, there we go. So just take a little bit to refill your stuff. It's not super long. You can refill blades in midair, though. But not gas, I think. I'm not sure how that even works, so... You probably can't do it. So we gotta kill the most titans. Of course we're gonna. I mean, it's just a no-brainer. Because it actually is really easy to do. So the training titans don't move. Actual titans, of course, will. And it makes them kind of a pain. One fun thing about not understanding what people are saying is that you can't really read the text when you're playing the game. I don't know, I kind of wish this game had an English dub, just as an option. I mean, Attack on Titan, the show, has an okay dub. It's, it's fine. I guess this is fine, too. You just can't really, you know... When you're playing the game, you can't really get the plot if you don't know what they're saying, because you gotta kind of... When you're in a real mission, you really gotta focus on what you're doing. Because things do get a bit hectic at times. Hold on, I want to get this one here. 
So that was a bad cut. Not enough speed. So we're probably going to one-shot all the training titans. It is very possible to one-shot most normal titans. Oh, wait a minute. So that was a thing right there. I did fire the lines. You saw them. But it didn't count. I'm pretty sure that was just like a glitch. Like, I don't think that was a thing. Like, oh, the lines didn't, didn't connect properly. I think it was just now nah, that game kind of messed up. Pretty sure about that. Ah, uh, another bad cut. So you want to avoid bad cuts, obviously. Not just because you want to actually hurt the Titan, but the game scores you on your Titan kills. And stuff like that will screw that up. I don't know, for these training targets it is a little hard to tell sometimes where they're facing. Because depending on the angle of approach, they can kind of blend into the background a little bit. Whoa! <laughs> so, one thing that happens when you're holding square to travel instead of just tapping it, is you'll do wall runs and stuff. And sometimes the wall runs are a little janky. I'm sure we'll be seeing a bit more of that in the actual game. Also, something that I didn't mention, when you're switching between different body parts, you do need to refire your anchor to lock onto the new part. So you don't want to attack the wrong part, that'll affect your score. A little boost in the, into that one there. I don't usually use the boost. Not because it's bad, just because I'm not... I'm a lot more used to the timing without it. Got that time from above. Oh, wait a minute, wall run. Yep, there you go. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. これは無理できる技術の骨を掴んだぜ。てめえは指くわえて見てな。うっせえな。お前にだけは負けねえ。そこまで。時間だ。訓練終了。今回の訓練の最優秀成績者を発表する。エレンイエガー。お前が1位だ
just because it's it's actually not that hard to get a lot of the time. But I'm not guaranteeing anything. I'm not guaranteeing S ranks. I'll I'll go for them, but sometimes they're just not not gonna happen. So we got a skill for Aaron. You get a skill whenever you level up, and his first skill is Swoop, which is a really good attack when you're going in from above. Also, he has Reckless, which decreases his leadership. Oh, oh, Aaron. That's okay. There's another character with a pretty good leadership that we're getting to a little later. So this mission doesn't actually rank your kills, but there's three. There's gold, silver, and bronze. Gold is just you killed the Titan, you didn't screw up your attacks, you didn't get hit by the Titan. It, it's just, you know, don't do that. So we get money. We can, we can buy stuff with money. I'm sure I need to explain that. No one knows how money works. Also, you can get materials for crafting. Because, of course, there's crafting. This is a video game, after all. And you get special materials for getting S-Ranks. So you want to go for S-Ranks. You want to do that. Got a whole bunch of goodies. But that's it for this particular video. Next time, hopefully, we can see some action. Take out some real Titans, because Eren does want to do that. I don't know if you've noticed this.